Ellie, what is going on? Ha, huh, are you the man who's been diving around here? Yeah, I think so. So I was expecting expecting a more professional looking guy. <laughs> what do you mean? Wow. That's that's not very nice of you, Ellie. I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the local graduate school. I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied. She's a bit sassy. Okay, so what do you want? I like to study the ecology of this blue hole. Get me some agar and red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one of each. Get me two of each. Your toe makes me want to refuse. It's probably Gen Z. She's likely a Gen X and she's a Gen Z, so... Yeah. Ha, huh, I've got a reward, but if you don't want it, that's fine by me. A re reward? Well, I wasn't refusing, I'm just saying you could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry, don't dally. New content is smartphone. You can use your phone to access various types of content. Check your current mission and more. Make 100 gold. Acquire two agar. Okay, I guess we're just gonna go for a dive now. Hmm. It's a Dory. Hey, Dory. Damn it. I still need to learn how to use this harpoon, I guess. Yeah, I do. Okay, maybe first of all we're gonna... Right. Maybe not. Orange starfish. There we go. Oh! Oh, okay, that didn't take you out. But that did. Alright. Let's get us some of that stuff. Cardinal fish. What's that? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, a pot? I want that pod. I feel like today is not a good day for the restaurant. I'm just trying to respectfully ignore that guy. Ah, oh, there's also... This dude. Soy sauce. Casually... Lying around... Ooh! Ooh! I think I'm not even able to hit it. Oh shit. Well, I got a pot with soy sauce. That I can probably add as an ingredient, but other than that, I don't I didn't really get a lot of. Get some seaweed here. Kajime. Ooh, what do we have here? A shock bang stick, okay. Harpoon gun, harpoon tip. Shock bang stick, a stick type weapon that releases a powerful electric charge. How do I use that? Ah, okay, like instead of my knife. 
I need to get my booty out of the water. Damn it. So, was that just the morning? Can I get back into the water and do the afternoon? I hope so. So we got a starfish at least. Yeah, nice. To fish tank. Dave, did you get to loosen up yesterday? Ah, I saw a lot of nasty fish. It won't be easy to go any deeper. Ha, I did notice that the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak. Perhaps something puts them on edge. Speaking of which, why don't you uh why don't you also take a gun in, ad in addition to the harpoon? A gun? I have a friend who's knowledge knowledgeable about guns. I will introduce you to him. Duff. <laughs> Why does he look like that South Park gamer guy? Wow, Cobra, it's been a while. Who's the goofy looking guy next to you? Sorry, that wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting, I thought divers were athletic and muscular. <laughs> you seem to defy my prior knowledge. Yeah. People who live in glass houses... <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to say that. People who live in glass houses. Hello. So what's this about? I'd like you to get straight to the point. I have begun a very interesting business. And now I'm in need of some weapon stuff. I need your help. Hmm, season 2 of Strastella just ended anyway. I will give you a listen. Alright, I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The Tehran and Ecology inside it changes every time you go inside. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought down. Oh. I like it to make as a weapon that can be used inside. Hmm, that is rather interesting. You have piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. This will be especially true of guns, which have precision parts. Hmm, so we'll have to get the materials from the sea ourselves. Well, Hadaif, you will have to prove yourself as a diver to this master duff. I'm not sure why I should have to prove myself to you, just to tell me what you need. Since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I think I will need one rope and one scrap iron. You heard him right, Dave. Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and scrap iron. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you will only be able to make it back with one item. Always keep that in mind. Mm. Alright. What does the phone do, by the way? So I can make calls, I have a to-do list, a mailing, a calendar, weather. I can change the music, play mini games. okay. No pictures taken, okay. Alright, though. Let's go down there again. Okay, okay, here we have another starfish. Man. What did I get so bad at this? Okay, let's explore the area a bit. Well, we know this area. Somehow, at least. Wood? So, since I am not allowed, or since I can't bring all the things out with me, I wonder... Does that even matter what I collect here? Ouch. I'm depleting my oxygen again. Right, I need better gloves. And what do I need? 
Oh, I can return to bowl with L2 and R2. Ah, scrap iron and a rope. Okay. Well, that might not happen today. Damn it. Ooh, you are a... Oh, I think I found the rope. You are beautiful. Ah, a longfish. Escape pot. A hammer. A s okay. What? What is an escape pot? New content. Escape pot. Use the escape pod to escape to your boat as quickly as possible and check your surroundings first as the calling process takes some time. Okay. Ooh. I'm running out of air down here though. So I, uh, the further I go down, the more air I'm using. Makes sense. We go. Mm. Oh, I think there's another rope. Oh, I'm getting heavy. I see. What is that? Oh. Oh, that's cool. I get more oxygen. But I'm also getting heavy. Scrap iron. Hey, that's what I need. Some more of that. What do we get here? Oxygen capsule. Ah, alright. That. Thank you. Ah, uh, okay, we have another mean guy over here. Probably guiding something. I have trouble getting up. Very heavy. So I probably shouldn't play around with that too much. Can I? No, I need to. That wouldn't do any difference. I need those upgraded gloves. Ah, oh, look, another rope, though. So yeah, do I have three ropes later on? Do I keep them, or shall I only focus on one rope? That's the question, basically. Also, can I get rid of stuff? Rope. Okay, I can carry nine kilograms comfortably. Yeah, I will I will have a look at that later. If that makes any difference. Okay, underwater scooter. Oh, okay, wait. Ouch. Ooh, okay. Yep, guy. No, 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 get away from me. Um... Let me use that here. Oh, I think... Oh, no, I changed that. That's why. I just thought I'm not able to use the harpoon anymore. 
Do you know what? While we're here, let's get some more fish, I guess. Oh, I'm not able to carry any more fish. All right. Okay. Mm. Well, we're heavy, heavy. So let us return to the boat. Well, to think you'd actually manage to bring it back, I expected you to quietly expire in the depths, you could say. Seems I have underestimated you slightly. Very well. I will show you how to make the basic underwater rifle with these materials. First of all, download Tuff's weapon shop on your phone. It's well optimized. Only 42 MB, you could say. Sure. Weapon shop app. Craft. Okay, it only says one out of one. I think I I wasn't able to get all those materials that, that I just collected, like, for example, the copper ore. I think I wasn't able to take that with me. Let's create a new weapon. I love the humor so far. Alright, basic underwater rifle. Ah, with a neat explanation like that, even someone like you should have understood. Well, I guess. Oh, and one more thing. I've taken some measures to allow you to open weapon chests on the water. Wow, weapon chests? You can't bring them out of the sea, but they can still come in handy, you could say. Oh, but I will collect info about the weapons you pick up and create blueprints for you. Weapons made with the blueprint won't break down underwater, you could say. In any case, this master will be watching you. Goodbye, Tarnity. Weaponsmith Duff. Alright. You can craft weapons at Duff's weapon shop. Acquiring a weapon a certain number of times will complete a blueprint, making the weapon craftable. Go hunting with powerful weapons. Okay. Undersea Gunslinger is our first trophy for this game. Wrap up your day and get things ready. So, I want to see the weapon. Basic underwater rifle. So does that mean... Oh no, wait, I'm keeping the rope. Oh, that's nice. That's good. It's very, very good. So, making more of the same type of weapon will unlock better weapons later? Do I understand that correctly? Alright. I didn't get any agar agar. But I'm sure we will eventually. But hey, that's good to know that we um, keep the, the loot, basically. So we need to set the menu. Yeah. This is new. Ah, uh, we didn't get that in last time. This is paying for 10, it's for 6, 2, 3, 4. So we're definitely gonna get those in again. Oh, I see. Those here. Um, we're gonna get those in. Twenty-four. That's sixty in total. And let's get these in, I guess. So can't enhance these. Add ingredients. Can I not eat the uh, add the soy sauce to anything? Okay, though. Alright, let's open up the sushi bar. And of course you want a tea. So that worked well. This lady was here first. Hello. 
And then you... And you... And now you... We collected 100 golds. Great job, this should be enough to repair what's broken. Then give me some time, these repairs need to be done, right? I really hope the customers keep coming. Wait, but the night is not done yet, right? I think I'm quite alright with pouring these. I almost spilled some tea, but it's alright. That's it. I think the nights are quite short. Ooh. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Day free. Who are you? Are you Dave by any chance? No. Yes, what is it, sir? Wow, I'm always right about these things. <laughs> nice to meet you, I'm Dr. Bacon. I'm an archaeologist who studies the Sea People's Civilization. The Sea People's Civilization? Ah, I will explain it to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me tell you about them? Why is everyone so weird on this island? Uh, maybe I should have asked. Maybe I shouldn't have asked, yeah. The Sea People civilization lives in legends. They are said to have occupied this region a very long time ago. They worshipped fish and had gills allowing them to live underwater. They lived in the depths, allowing them to flourish without any concern for invasion by other civilizations. But sudden changes to the sea bottom brought about their abrupt downfall. That's about all there is to the story. Everyone thinks it's a myth and nothing more, of course. But proof that they were real f was found right in the vicinity of this place. Huh? This is an amazing find, one that could turn the whole academic world upside down. An ancient civilization under the sea, you'd only see such things in comic books or games. What makes you so sure they were real? My assistant closely analyzed an artifact found nearby and found that it is from no known civilization. It stated, it stated to around 1500 years ago as well, there were no civilizations in these parts back then. Ah, oh, that is interesting, but what business do you have with me? Well, you see, my assistant's cryptocurrency investments didn't pan out and he won't be around for a good while. That's why I'd like you to help me. Ah. Uh, my assistant told me that the artifact was found 70 meters or so below the surface. Please go take a look. We're busy with the sushi bar. I don't think we can. Uh, sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Of course we should help you. We were glad to do so. What? We don't have the time to swim around searching for artifacts. Think about it, if an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Bunch of sushi will be bursting at the seams. I suppose you have a point. Alright, I'll help. Haha, <laughs> isn't that lucky? Of course, I won't be asking you to work for free. I will upgrade the diving suit you're wearing for free. Wow. With an enhanced diving suit, you will be able to venture deeper. This is essential for exploration. These days, even such things can be handled by an app. Technological advancements are amazing, eh? Let's first install the iDiver app on the phone before we proceed. Okay. The Diver app allows you to enhance various diving equipment, upgrade equipment with the money you make at the sushi bar and elsewhere and explore deeper. So that's stuff that I would keep, that's nice. Now then, let me tell you how to use iDiver. I will install the app for you, so unlock your phone first. Uh-huh, uh-huh, upgrade the diving suit for free. That's, that's nice. Doesn't cost anything. Now you will be able to venture a bit deeper. Once you have enough money, use iDiver to enhance your equipment. You can enhance your suit as well as your cargo box and oxygen tank. Never forget that anything can happen in deep waters. I will be in touch. 
Okay, fine, take care. And we are diving into the A3. Traces of the Sea People. 